Luc Vigneault has schizophrenia. J'avais beaucoup de préjugés face aux gens qui étaient à l'hôpital psychiatrique et je ne pouvais pas croire que moi, je puisse un jour faire partie des fous. Pour moi, c'était inconcevable. Et puis, vers l'âge de 17 ans, j'ai commencé à avoir des hallucinations euh, visuelles et auditives. Donc, je n'arrivais pas à croire que moi, qui étais si intelligent, <rire> si euh, capable d'analyser les choses, que du jour au lendemain, euh, mon cerveau fasse défaut. Pour moi, ça n'avait ça pas de sens. For Luke, the worst part wasn't having the disease, it was not knowing what the problem was. Moi, le diagnostic, euh, c'était long à venir. Puis, tu sais, les frontières aussi avec d'autres maladies euh, sont très étroites. C'est très difficile de, de vraiment trouver un bon diagnostic. Puis moi, ben aussi, c est, c est, c est, ça a été long. Unlike other medical issues, diagnosing a psychosis is not as easy as taking a test or giving a blood sample. We have in psychiatry around the world a big problem with diagnosis. It is the only specialty who will make the diagnosis based solely on clinical symptoms. And that's why you need three, four, five years before getting the true diagnosis. Precious years were lost while Luke lived without a diagnosis or treatment. Moi, j'ai euh, fait plusieurs tentatives de suicide de, parce que je, je, je n'arrivais pas à dire ça se peut pas de vivre avec cette maladie qui est épouvantable, qui, qui est un drame humain. J'ai tout perdu. Ma voiture, ma maison. It's a big problem. So we need instruments to help the clinicians to make the, the, uh, uh, the diagnosis sooner. Developing such an instrument is exactly what doctors Hello. Michel Maziad and Marc Hébert are working on. So I'm going to prepare to do the ERG. So Dr. Hébert and his team have come up with a very novel way to see into the brain, through the eye. So how did we start to investigate the eye in psychiatry? During the uh, early development process of the child, the fibers or the cells that will form the brain, part of it will be generating the retina. So actually the retina is, is a part of the brain itself. And it provides a window through which signs of mental disorders are visible. A mental disorder is a, probably something like a biological imbalance in the brain, but you cannot really ask access the brain uh, easily, so you cannot go inside with electrodes and see what's happening. However, with the retina, you can do so because the retina itself is isolated from the brain. You can measure it directly with non-invasive technique, and this is done with the electroretinogram, which is called the ERG. It's quite similar to the EEG or the EKG to measure the heartbeat, for instance. By sending flashes of light into the eye, Dr. Abel gets information from the retina located at the back of the eyeball. We place some electrode, so we, we need a ground on the forehead, an electrode on the uh, side of the eye, and then we place a tiny fiber under the lower eyelid. And this fiber is made of nylon with, coated with silver, and this is going to capture the electrical response that is generated by the retina. So when we send flashes of light, the retina is going to respond. There's going to be a chemical reaction happening, which will transform the light signal into an electrical signal. From this plugging system, it's going to go onto the computer, and the computer is going to amplify the electrical signal from the eye 50,000 times, so we can see the recording and do some measurements. The results of this test are then compared to a database of 1,000 healthy people with no mental illness. By comparing the, the response to that database, we can detect uh, small anomalies and we can tell if a patient has, for instance, schizophrenia. Dr. Hébert believes that if he can provide scientific evidence of a mental health disorder, it will make a huge difference for people struggling with psychoses. Use of the electroretinogram is quite exciting in the field of psychiatry because this will help us provide the psychiatrist a biological measure of what's happening at the level of the brain. The entry 
of uh, the retina in psychiatry is, is a breakthrough in itself because we need to have an access to the living brain. And even more exciting is the promise of catching the disease early on. This will be uh, something amazing because if you can uh, detect a disorder before it happens, maybe you can do something so you don't wait until it's going to the hospital with psychosis. Can we prevent schizophrenia? We can delay the onset, we can uh, diminish the severity of the disorders by intervening early. Luke knows the importance of finding out early. Si on réussit à diagnostiquer précocement euh, avec un outil diagnostique précis, ça va changer la vie des personnes atteintes, ça va changer la vie de l'entourage. Là, autrefois, là, une cinquantaine d'années ici, on, on croyait que la maladie mentale, c'était une fatalité de Dieu. On subissait parce que Dieu n'était pas content, mais maintenant, <rire> maintenant on sait que c'est une maladie.